Horse lovers, today is the day. I am gonna be riding my brand new auction mare, Sleeping Beauty, for the first time ever. I am so excited about this. I'm really eager to see how she does. Now you saw how she was at the auction, but sometimes they can be a lot different once they're home. They can be better, they can be worse. You just really don't know what you got until you bring them home. So we're gonna find out for sure today. She's been doing fantastic with her grooming, her groundwork. So we're gonna groom her a little bit, tack her up, and then head to the outdoor arena for a warm up. And then if she's good, I'm gonna get on. I know you just wanna eat the grass, but you're not eating grass right now. You're not eating grass right now. That's what she wants to do. No, no ma'am. You're gonna eat grass afterwards, okay? I'm holding you right now, you silly girl. Okay, let's go to the hitching post. All right, Miss Beauty. Let's start with a curry comb. What do you think, huh? Good girl. Getting that spring shed going. So gorgeous, look at that. Still got some glue on there, but it's coming. everywhere. Yes, hair everywhere. You're just a mess. Hair in my mouth. Yes. Okay, let's get a soft brush. Are you being a good girl? Oh, are you so sweet? I know, I'm gonna give you a treat in a little bit. Yes, you're very nice. She's like, I just wanna go and do something. And I also want a snack. Yeah, but I mean, so far she's just been really chill. I've been waiting to kind of see like, all right, something's gotta give here beyond, you know, normal horse behavior. And she's just been a gem. So that's been great. Yes. You got any secrets you wanna tell me before I ride you today? Anything? Fess up now. You're such a good girl. Good girl. There you go. You did good for your grooming. All right, so I picked her hooves. Now we're gonna go ahead and tack up. So she was ridden Western at the sale. So that's what we're gonna do just because I know that she's familiar with that. And I think that makes sense for the first ride. And I'm gonna ride her in a snaffle. So not that big Western bit that she was in previously. I don't, I don't even think I own a Western bit. I might have like one still. So I'm gonna ride her in a snaffle, but I won't bridle her up until we're in the outdoor arena. And I might not even be able to film that part. Kyle's gonna come out later and film us riding because I wanna warm her up in the ground first in her halter. So yeah, let's get your saddle on. Okay, we're going all out floral. <laughs> Is that okay with you? Is that okay, Sleeping Beauty? I mean, you're a girl. So we're gonna wear girly things. What do you think? So I've set the pad on her before. Let's do it one more time. Good job. Good girl. Let 
Look at that. <laughs> Good girl. Every new horse that I get, I try to take things as slow as I possibly can. So we obviously already know that she's broke to ride from the auction. So I'm still going to proceed with caution when I'm tacking her up because you just don't know, like I said, how they're gonna respond when you get home. And I think a big mistake that people make is they just get the horse home, they throw a saddle on them and they start riding them. And if the horse ends up having issues, they wonder why. It's like, she needed time to adjust. She needed time to settle in. And I'm just gonna show her all of my equipment because everything is completely different for her. And I shouldn't have this expectation that she should just be great with everything. Like I wanna go slow, which is why we've been doing groundwork first and just bonding and taking things step by step. But so far she's handling everything so well. I'm extremely proud of her. She just wants to put her head next to me and be close, which is super sweet. But so far she's been great with putting the pad on, the saddle, and I've never put the saddle on her before. I mean, that's the first time she's ever had a saddle on with me, obviously. And now I am cinching her up. And she didn't seem to mind that at all either. Now I actually did order a new saddle for Beauty. So it is similar to this saddle. It's the same brand, but it's a different model and it's gonna be all black. So it has a few different features than this one, but it'll be completely black. And this is actually a wide where I think she's more of a regular tree. So we're gonna see when we get that saddle in. I did add a little bit of cushion under here to lift it up so it'll work for us for now. But the bad part is the saddle is on back order until May. So I might use this one with like shims or I might try one of my English saddles. I mean, I'm gonna ride her English and Western, but we gotta start somewhere. But I plan on trail riding her as long as everything goes well. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Your very own saddle. Of course, of course. <laughs> Okay, I got my helmet, I got her bridle, and now we're gonna head down to the outdoor arena and warm up and then ride. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not that nervous just because she's been really great. Sometimes I do get nervous if I don't know the horse's history, even though I do a lot of prep work. You just don't know how they're gonna respond, especially if they have no history. But luckily with her, we know a little bit and we actually saw her ride like under saddle at the sale. So I'm excited. <laughs> Are you so excited, girl? You're gonna be good? I hope so. Okay, so let's head down. Now, when I get down there, I'm gonna film obviously a little bit, but most of it is probably gonna be voiceover until the end, just because I still need to focus, right? Like I don't know her, I haven't ridden her before, so I just need to work on that, but I will film sections. And then when Kyle comes out, he'll film our ride, okay? So let's do it. All right, I gotta take this vest off too, it's getting, getting hot so I'm going to throw this down before we go. I'm going to warm Beauty up on the lunge line first. So she is a younger Good horse. Girl. She's four coming five years old and obviously she's new and this is going to be our first ride ever. So of course I'm going to lunge her just to make sure I get her into the mental mindset of riding and working under saddle and obviously I just want to see how she's responding behavior wise and energy wise this day because I want to be as safe as I possibly can. So far, she's responding to everything. She is just so sweet. So I'm very curious to see how she's gonna be under saddle because a lot can change. Sometimes they can be really great for their groundwork and then be totally different under saddle and vice versa. So that's again, why I just try to take everything in stride. Not so. Trot slow. Good. Good girl. Beautiful. Now I'm lunging Beauty in the back of the arena just to make sure she's comfortable with the entire environment and the space because a lot of times horses will get nervous in the back of the arena sometimes and she's being good about it. She's doing so well. I just got on Sleeping Beauty. She was amazing about mounting. She stood as still as a statue. And I immediately just feel this comfort with her. Again, I knew she was gonna be okay, but I didn't really understand what she was really gonna be like because I didn't ride her myself. So I'm just testing the waters here, just seeing how she's responding. She is extremely light to pressure. Her walk just feels so confident and there's a nice cadence. And I did walk her around for a little while in both directions. And now I'm gonna ask her to pick up the jog. 
So she just picked up this really cute little jog. I love her headset and she even neck reins. I kind of did a little two point there to see how she would respond and now I'm posting and she's almost like a dream. Like I cannot even believe how fun she is. She stopped immediately when I asked her and then she went right back into trot when I asked her to move forward. Also, please note the arena is super uneven. So if it looks like she's kind of tripping, that's what it is. I need to drag it, but it was too wet earlier in the day to drag. So I'll be able to drag it tomorrow. Her gates feel extremely smooth. It's really nice to sit her trot, to post. I just can't believe how responsive and soft and supple she is so far. It's incredible. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask her to pick up the canter. She's kind of a lope. I don't think anybody understands how much I really needed this horse and how incredible she is and the freedom she's already giving me after everything we've been going through. I'm so happy. I could literally lope her all day long. It is so smooth and so comfortable. Is she cool or what? Mm -hmm. Go backwards. This is one of the nicest horses I've ever ridden. I am completely blown away, okay? I mean, I knew she was probably going to be like okay and decent, but I had no idea she was going to be this fantastic. And I'm not saying she's like perfect, like 100% or anything like that, but when you get a horse from an auction, I don't think people understand, like when you bring them home and they're actually really good, how rewarding and incredible that actually feels. She's going to be a fantastic mount, a wonderful lesson horse. We're going to do open shows, trail rides, Western English, try a little bit of jumping. So pretty much I'm just going to tune her up and then have the students who are advanced enough start riding her because she's very kind. And what I love about her is she's sensitive, but it's in a light, supple way. It's not a reactive 
type of sensitive. She's just, oh my gosh, like I can't even wrap my brain around how happy I am right now. I just love her so freaking much. Cannered her yet? No. Nope. You're spelling canner for the first time. Oh. What an absolute angel! Oh my gosh, you're sweet as pie. My goodness, sleeping beauty. Oh my goodness. I didn't know how good you were. so good I'm not gonna do anything else I am on cloud nine right now like I would have paid if I would have rode her this horse is like a $15,000 horse like I'm not kidding that's how much I like her she is literally probably one of the nicest horses I've ever ridden in my life that's how I feel she's just so soft and sensitive but in a good way like I'm gonna ask her to stop right here oh like that it's it's crazy i hate to say it she's almost too good to be a lesson horse because she's so refined I feel so grateful and blessed that beauty came into my life and I truly do believe it was fate and when I saw her at the auction I just knew that she was special and I didn't even realize how special she was and how much of a blessing she is and I'm just very thankful that she's that free spirit equestrian and we can continue developing her. I feel like I can trust her right like obviously I'm not gonna go buck wild but I really feel I feel so good on her. It's really nice. It reminds me of when I bought Zazu. Like, I don't know. I just feel super at peace. I feel comfortable. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she is four coming five. I mean, I don't know. There's this saying, some horses are born broke. Um, as in, they just are born with that, you know, demeanor. And obviously she's had training. And I'm gonna say this, like, I, I don't agree with everything that Amish people do, and I think there's good and bad in any community or any horse industry or discipline or whatever, but you cannot go and say that every Amish person is bad because this horse 
was with the Amish for months and they trained her and she does not act abused. She does not act weird about anything. I've been waiting for her to react to something, you know, whether it's the grooming or tacking or something like that, you know, beyond normal horse stuff. Not a dang thing. She's just calm, quiet, kind eye, doesn't hesitate, just straightforward. And again, this is my first horse I bought from these individuals. I think it's Circle M Horsemanship or something. But everybody says their horses are always good. And if they're not, they'll tell you that. Like they'll tell you that that horse is X, Y, and Z. So this is just proof that it's not all bad. And a lot of people have been like, oh, well you support Amish. I don't support or not support. It's, it's all based on individuals. I don't think it's fair to just like group everyone together. You know, like, yes, yeah, certain groups are known for certain things, but you really should judge it off the individual. Just like a horse, you know, like, each breed has different characteristics, but you have to judge the individual horse, right? That's how I view it, so. She's a gem. I'm so glad that she's here because it's always risky with auctions and stuff, right? No, she is 100% amazing. And you know, we're gonna snaffle and I'm totally gonna ride her bitless. Like I feel very confident. So we're gonna switch to bitless soon. We're gonna do both because obviously she was in a Western bit through the sale. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna use that, but I'll definitely use the snaffle at first because I don't know how she's going to respond. Absolute jump. Okay, let's walk a little more. Are you so sleepy, you little sweetheart? Gosh, you're cool. And she's smooth. I love her gait. It's like, I just, I'm just like really impressed. Now we're just going to walk around and cool out and relax for a little bit. So a little more information on Sleeping Beauty. She is 14.3 hands, which is a great height. I measured her with our measuring stick and I did send in her DNA test samples. So essentially you just pull some mane hair and send those in and they will give us a breed analysis, which they're not 100% accurate, but it will give us some ballpark idea of what breed she is. I honestly am not seeing that she's a lot of draft. I mean, it's possible. I actually almost think she has some gated breeds associated with her. Not that she's gated, but I could just see them being in the panel. And then we'll also get her official base color test results along with her pattern and health screening. So keep an eye out for that. Should get them in a little while here. All right, horse lovers, that was so amazing. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed our first riding session. She is obviously fantastic and coming along and settling in here great at Free Spirit Equestrian. So if you wanna support us, the best way to do that is to order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the comments and the description. Today I'm wearing Winnie Wine because I knew it would go with her halter, kind of the purple vibe, and her cute saddle pad here. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any updates with Beauty or the other horses, and we'll see you next time. If you want to look divine, try our Winnie wine. Also, I am going to be hosting a Q&A session on April 2nd at 6.30 p.m. EDT. If you're interested in signing up, it is $99 and we are going to be coaching and mentoring all the horse lovers who sign up. And you're able to ask very specific equestrian questions, retaining to business, training, anything that you've been wanting to dive deeper in. It's going to be very, very valuable. So check that out, okay? I'll put the information in the description, not the comments because it's kind of long. So check it out there.